What's up and welcome back everybody. On today's video, we're making a snake trap. Now we're gonna make a few different sizes of snake traps. We're gonna put some wrap bedding inside of one. We're gonna strategically place them out in the Everglades and see exactly what we can catch. Now, to make a snake trap, it's very simple. All you need is some wire cutters, some zip ties, and some chicken wire. Now I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need this for in just a second. Let's unravel this and get to building. All right, step number one, roll the chicken wire out. Get it all nice and straight. Get some boots on, because this stuff will cut you up. So that way you can work with it a little bit easier. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is cut off a strip. This one's about two and a half feet long, but usually you wanna do it about a foot and a half to two feet long. We're gonna make this snake trap an extra long one. When you talk about girth and how wide you want this first part to be, now you want this piece of screen be about the width of your arm. So if your arm fits in there like that, that's perfect for a snake to get into as well. The next thing we're gonna do we're gonna take some tie straps and we're gonna tie this thing in a circle. And then step two, we'll be adding the ends. All right guys, to make this part a lot easier, you're gonna wanna put a zip tie on this end and a zip tie on that end. Now you're just gonna work your way down and zip tie this whole thing shut. All right, we got all our zip ties done. We got our cylinder made. Now it's time to make the ends. If you guys have ever seen a fish trap, this is basically like a fish trap on land, but made for snakes. And we have a secret weapon that we're gonna put in here at the end. We'll show you guys later. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two cylinders. There's gonna be a cylinder that goes in here and a cylinder that goes on the other side, allowing the snake to go in. But snakes, when they enter this cylinder, it's gonna stop right in the middle and it's gonna go from wide to skinny. Now these guys are gonna have a very, very hard time getting back out and that's how these snake traps work. So we're gonna get started on that cylinder right now. All right, we got our first cylinder made. Make sure it's super wide at the top the same wideness as this and then make sure it just comes down to a small little hole so we're gonna pop our cylinder right in here and we're gonna do the same thing for the other side we'll tie this bad boy off and we'll get it in the glades all right we got our first cylinder in let's do our second cylinder number two done all we got to do is attach it and add our secret weapon, which is some rat bedding. Now that's what's really gonna attract these snakes to this trap. These cylinders are gonna get them stuck, but what gets them in this trap is really the rat bedding. Now we're gonna strategically place this trap, a fence or a wall somewhere where snakes like to move along, where they actually have no way other than go through this trap to get caught. And that, ladies and gentlemen, how you make a snake trap out of chicken wire and zip ties. Let's go, son, let's hit the road. All right, guys, loaded up the snake traps, Got a couple extra crawfish traps. I'm gonna show you guys how you can turn a crawfish trap and a fish trap into a snake trap. We're gonna do that while we're out there. But real fast, I'm gonna run over to my local pet store and I'm gonna get some used rat bedding. Now, the reason we want this rat bedding used is because we want that pee, we want that poop, we want those pheromones to attract these snakes to this trap. So we're gonna stop at Wild Cargo, we're gonna get some rat bedding, then we'll meet you guys in the glades. Oh, it's cold. It's another freezing cold day here in South Florida. If you guys look at the temp, check this out. It's 55 degrees. <laughs> it's never that cold out, never. Never is it this cold out. This is actually good. So we're gonna be out here in the sugarcane fields. We're gonna be setting traps. So we're going out here. We actually have a pretty good chance of finding a snake basking today. Maybe even a python if we're lucky. All right, y'all. I just pulled up on this beautiful little wood pile. Well, if there ain't nothing in here, I'll just take the boards and I'll set them somewhere else. This is a perfect board. We're gonna grab this. Bring it out to my spot, and we'll go ahead and we'll check it in a couple weeks. Maybe we'll check it next year, who knows? Have a look at the sugarcane fields today. Look how absolutely beautiful they are. Now all this sugarcane, it's nice and mature and it's flowering right now, so it's not green. It's got like a light grayish tip to the top. But soon these giant trucks, they'll come out here and they'll harvest us all within the next week. Look, I 
I want you guys to take a look at this canal bank. Now when this canal bank gets low in the winter, gators, like that little guy right in there, snakes, birds, can you guys see his little head? Right, right in there. Now gators, they'll actually use these little tunnels, like that tunnel right there and this tunnel over here to hide during the winter. Now the caiman will actually do the same thing down south. These crocodilians, they're known to live in dens and burrows during the winter. Whoa, that's a nice dog. All right, we got a vulture. He's chowing down on something. I say we go have a look at what this guy's having for lunch on this cold day. Oh, he's eating a, looks to be a pleco. Looks to be an armored catfish. That's pretty cool. This is the spot we're gonna put the snake trap. Now, out of all the spots I have here in Belle Glade, out of all my spots in the sugarcane fields, this little pump house, I have shined more snakes than any other structure. Now, a good thing to do with these traps is put them along a wall. Now, almost every night, these snakes, they'll move along this wall. They'll use it as a little guider, and they'll go right into the trap. We're gonna go grab the trap, see what we can do. It's our handy dandy snake trap. We're gonna set it down right here. We'll get some rabbit. This right here, quality rat bedding quality stuff okay nice and dirty it's got that stink it's got that poop now we're going to put this on the inside of the trap so that way these snakes think that there's a mouse nest in here and hopefully we can get more than just one snake in this trap now when you're doing traps you always want to come out the next day you never want to let the snake sit out in here sit out in the sun you want to make sure you get out here in the morning and if there's anything in that trap you want to remove it as fast as you can because you do not want the snake cooking in this trap during the day. Got the snake trap all set up. You're gonna put it on a flat surface, like I said, because these snakes are gonna move along this wall. Then you're gonna post it up with some rocks so this so this trap doesn't go anywhere. Then you're just gonna put the bedding all throughout here. Now these holes, they're pretty big, so the bedding's gonna fall through. That's why I jammed it up against here, and I put the bedding all in the back. I think we got a pretty good chance at finding a snake. Last but not least, you're gonna take some of this plant right here. This is what we call dogweed. It's a natural mosquito repellent. So if you boil this stuff down, put it in a pot, you can actually make mosquito spray. But we're just gonna put a couple of these just to get this guy to blend in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back in about 24 hours and we're gonna check on this trap. We'll see you then. Let's go. All right, y'all, remember this board we found on the highway? This looks like a pretty good spot back in here. Oh yeah. Oh God. Now we're gonna put this right here next to the canal it's next to the bushes we want to dig out the dirt a little bit we want to get all these leaves out of here we want to make it like this board's been sitting here for months okay we got our board set there's a little hole up top snakes can crawl in from the top they can go in through this shallow side on the back we're going to take a little rock we're going to prop it up just a bit so that way snakes can get underneath there all right it's time to go Oh, dude, it's so cool. It's been a solid 24 hours. We're headed back out to the cane fields to check on our snake trap. Hopefully, we got one in there. All right, guys, we're pulling up in this cold baby gator. You see him going in that tunnel? All right, yo, I'm hungry. A little bit thirsty, so I'm gonna get a piece of this sugar cane. You always want to get the ones with the white tops. That's how you know they're ready. Go with this guy right here. A little piece, about a foot long. Ooh, doggy. Nice piece of sugar cane. All you gotta do is shave the edges off. They can eat this whole thing. It's super sugary. This is what they use to make Coca-Cola. And there you have it. Some good old sugar cane. Pour some water on there, get all the pesticide dirt off, and you're good. Mmm, so good. First I thought it was a gator tail slide but that would be way more straight. This looks like, this looks to be a Burmese python. Look at it. Look, it looks to be a Burmese python. I mean, this is big too. This is, this is not a little snake. I can already see it's a snake. All right, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna see if I can find this guy. This poor guy didn't make it. Woo, have a look at this guys. We're just driving on the levee. Before we check the snake trap, we're trying to find some pythons and we came up on this massive gator skull. This is rare to find one in such good condition. Look at that thing. Sheesh, I'm taking that puppy home. Look at that. That's beautiful. And look at these jaw bones. The cool thing to do with these bottom jaw bones is this almost acts like a handle. So if you file this side down, you can actually make a knife. It's super cool. And I think we're gonna do that with this jaw bone. Oh, and Everglades is a weird place. 
It looks like a spoonbill has been attacked by a gator or a bobcat. Look at this. You think a flamingo died out here? Look how pink that is. Guys, these are Florida white-tailed deer out here in the glades. You can see these guys just ran into the swamp and they absolutely disappeared. All right, y'all. We're gonna check that board I put out yesterday first. We're gonna see if we got any snakes underneath there because it was a really cold night last night. So if anything was cruising around, looking for a warm place to sleep, this would be the spot. Ah, nothing. I just saw a daggone coyote. Look at him. What are you doing out during the day, buddy? Oh, and I also bring my dog, Zeus. Check him out. This is my best bud, my dog, Zeus. One of the best dogs in the world. Oh, good boy. All right, Zeus, you ready to check this trap? Huh? Let's go. Been long enough. Ready to see if we got anything in here. If we don't have anything, we might have to revamp the trap and uh, put some more bedding. But if we do, then we're good. Come on, boy. Come on, let's go see if we got a snake. Hopefully, I don't want to have to put this trap out another day. Let's see, our camouflage looked like it worked very well. We're gonna pull these leaves back. Oh, we got a garter snake. We got a garter snake right there. Look at him. We got a garter snake. We got two garter snakes. No way. Look at this. Here's one garter snake. Zeus, get over here. What are you doing? There's one garter snake right here. I can see his head right there. And then there's another one right there. Look at that. Oh my God. All right. Let's get these wire snips. This is so cool. Usually we catch rat snakes in here just because we use rat bedding and Typically, they're the ones that go into these rat nests and eat all them. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off these little ties and we're gonna get these guys out of this trap and we're gonna check them out. This is so cool, dude. Snake trap, you guys wanna make one? You saw how to do it. Get some rat bedding, head out to a decent spot and you'll find something, I promise you. Now we could reuse this trap again. All we gotta do is just re-pinch these little zip ties on here. Dude, I can't believe it, not one. But two snakes. That is freaking awesome. That's more than I expected. That's double them than we needed. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull this cylinder out. You can see, we probably should have made that a little bit smaller. I, I guarantee a snake got out of this, but look at all this bedding. All this damp, moist, dirty bedding, dirty rat bedding. They thought this was a rat nest. They entered and they couldn't get out. Look at that. Now the most important part of these traps is having that cylinder at the end, not touching the sides because that's what confuses them, and that's how these snakes get stuck in this trap. Look at them, look at them. He's like, dude, what? Oh, there, there one goes. There he goes, right in there. All right, I need to put down the phone for a second. This one almost got away. All right, I got him. This one almost got away. He's a squirrely bugger. But check this out, this is a Florida garter snake. He just must all over me. What we're gonna do is, I think this is the bigger of the two. Now you gotta be careful when they spin, they'll spin their tail right off. You gotta let them spin. You can't hold onto their tail. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this guy since we got two garter snakes. Thank you for being our ambassador. We're gonna let him go into the rocks. And this one over here, we'll try to get a closer look at. Let's bring him out into the street. So that way that same thing doesn't happen again. Come on, Zeus. You scared him out of the trap. Ooh, this is so cool. Not one, but two. See if we can get this one out. He looks pretty comfortable in there. He's been there for a while. All right, now Zeus hasn't been around too many wild snakes, have you, buddy? But he's definitely not afraid of them. Now, the snake's not gonna kill my dog. I don't gotta worry. If my dog gets bit, if anything, he'll be a smarter dog. Watch out, Zeus. He'll bite you. He'll bite you. <sighs> Look at this beautiful snake. The snake trap worked. <laughs> Now you guys, you know about these snakes. We found a ton of blue garter snakes on my channel. Look how cool he is. The snake has done his job. We came out here to show you guys that you can catch a snake by using this method. And not only did we catch one, but we caught two snakes out here in the cane field. This guy's going crazy, he's rolling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna release him over here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Garter Snake. Have a good day. You guys can see how he runs along that wall. He's using this wall as a guidance. That's exactly what they did over here. That's why I put it on this big flat piece of concrete because I knew snakes live in here and they'll have to travel along this wall and they have to smell this rat bedding. So this stuff worked great. 
you can see there's so many hiding spots back here for snakes to hide what a great spot to catch a snake we did it we did it Zeus. good job good job